Hello, students. I am Professor Thomre here. Today, we will study chapter number four from 10th standard of NCERT syllabus. This is important chapter of organic chemistry. That is carbon and its compounds. We know in the periodic table, carbon have position six. Its atomic number is six. It is versatile element. It is found in 0.02% in the form of minerals and 3% in the form of combined with other uh, in the free form. All living structures are based on carbon. So covalent bond in carbon, which type of bonds are present in carbon and its compounds are the covalent bond. So what is covalent bond? How it is formed? That we will study first. So atomic number of carbon is six. Its electron distribution is two, four. That is two electrons in the first orbit and four electrons in the second orbit. It attains the noble gas electronic configuration, that is eight electrons. It requires the four more electrons in its valence shell, and therefore valency of carbon is four. It is difficult for an atom of carbon to either gain or lose electrons as it allowed to difficult hold extra electrons it requires the large amount of energy to remove electrons carbon contains attains the noble gas configuration by sharing its electron valence electrons with other atoms such mutual sharing of electrons between atoms to attain stable electron configuration it is called as a covalent bond. So atoms of other element like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine also show sharing of electrons. Depending upon the number of electrons, electron pair shared, the covalent bond are of three types. So single covalent bond. A single covalent bond is formed because of sharing of two electrons, that is a one pair. For example, hydrogen and chlorine, methane molecule have single covalent bond. Then double covalent bond. Double covalent bond is formed by sharing of four electrons, that is two pairs of electrons. Examples are oxygen molecule, carbon dioxide molecule. Then next is triple covalent bond. A triple covalent bond is formed because of sharing of six electrons. That is a three pairs of electrons. Examples are nitrogen and ethylene. So first we will study how H2 molecule is formed and how single covalent bond is formed. That is one example we will study. We know hydrogen, its atomic number is one. So it consists of one electron. So this electron is shown with the help of cross near to this hydrogen. This is hydrogen atom, first orbit. This is second hydrogen atom with its orbit and one electron. When H2 molecule is formed, then these two electrons, one electron of first hydrogen and one electron of second hydrogen, they are shared between these two hydrogen atoms and form a single covalent bond. So this is formation of single covalent bond. The properties of covalent bond. Covalent bond molecules have low melting and boiling points. Comparatively, they are weaker intermolecular forces, unlike ionic compounds. These molecules are generally poor conductors of electricity, since no charged particles are formed. Two important properties which enable 
carbon to form enormously large number of compounds that is the catenation and tetravalency so these are the important properties of carbon therefore large number of carbon compounds are present so important type of carbon compounds are hydrocarbon so from the name hydrocarbon this hydrocarbon consists of hydrogen and carbon atoms so compounds which are majorly made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms are called hydrocarbons hydrocarbons are further divided into two types saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons saturated hydrocarbon contains carbon carbon single bond and unsaturated hydrocarbon contains carbon carbon single bond or double bond triple bond or ring type of structure containing single and double bonds in alternate position so saturated hydrocarbons these are alkanes having general formula cn h2n plus 2 unsaturated hydrocarbons further classified into three types first type is alkene containing carbon carbon double bond the general formula of alkene is cn h2n where n is number of carbon atoms second type of unsaturated hydrocarbons are alkynes they contain carbon carbon triple bond and the general formula is cn h2n minus 2 this is alkyne and third type is aromatic hydrocarbon they contain a benzene like structure with single and double bond in alternate position then so that is about the hydrocarbon and their types now lewis structure or it is also called as electron dot structure this is electron dot structure for for ethane molecule so ethane molecule consists of this hydrogen then it is singly bonded with carbon this first carbon have three hydrogen bonded with single bond similarly here one hydrogen so these this carbon is bonded with other carbon atom with single bond and this carbon is also bonded with three hydrogen atoms with single bond so this type of formula of ethane is called as a structural formula of ethane from this structural formula we can draw this type of electron structure or electron dot structure so in the electron dot structure this is carbon carbon single bond consist of this two cross means two electrons of carbon they are shared mutually shared therefore it is a covalent bond carbon carbon single bond then there are carbon hydrogen 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 carbon hydrogen bonds so it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 carbon hydrogen bonds they are formed by one electron of carbon that is a cross and one electron of hydrogen that is a dot so this is again sharing of electron that is a covalent bond like this this carbon hydrogen 6 covalent bonds are formed the next is a formula and the structures of saturated compounds of carbon and hydrogen so number of carbon atoms are 1 name of hydrocarbon is a methane having formula ch4 and the structure is at the center there is a one carbon and 
it is bonded with four hydrogen around this carbon so this is a structure of methane then second is two carbon containing molecule it is ethane having molecular formula c2h6 these are the two singly bonded carbon and it is surrounded by six hydrogen with single covalent bonds third molecule is propane having molecular formula c3h8 these are the three carbon atoms in a straight chain and they are surrounded with hydrogen each carbon can form maximum four bonds so all these bonds in this molecule are single covalent bonds fourth example is a butane molecular formula of butane is c4 h10 so it consists of four carbon atoms in a straight chain and there are 10 hydrogen atoms surrounded by these carbon each carbon can form maximum four bonds either with carbon or with hydrogen so this is structural formula of butane next example is a pentane molecular formula is c5h12 these are five carbon atoms in a straight chain they are surrounded by 12 hydrogen atoms and all these single bonds are again covalent bonds next is hetero atom and the functional group that is other than carbon and hydrogen atom different atoms present in molecule these atoms are called hetero atoms and they form the functional group in molecule first is alkane contain carbon carbon single bond actually there is a no hetero atom and no functional group or it is a carbon carbon single bond itself is a functional group then alkene contains carbon carbon double bond alkyne contain carbon carbon triple bond then this is aromatic ring one hydrogen is replaced so it is form benzene it is called as a phenyl then alkyl halide contains carbon halogen so this halogen is a functional group halogen is a hetero atom halogen may be fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine then next is amine amine contains carbon nitrogen single bond this nitrogen is bonded with two hydrogen so functional group in amine is nh2 then alcohol alcohol contains carbon oh single bond so this is a functional group with hetero atom o then ether functional group is carbon oxygen carbon single bond then aldehyde aldehyde contains c double bond o single bond h this is a functional group in aldehyde then ketone ketone contains carbon oxygen double bond this is a functional group called as a carbonyl functional group then carboxylic acid carboxylic acid contain c double bond o oh as a functional group then ester contains c double bond o o c this is alkyl group here so this is a ester functional group present in organic compounds then amide amide is c double bond o nh2 this is a functional group present in amine then so that is about the hetero atoms and the functional group in organic molecules next point is to study homologous series so what is homologous series so it is the series of compounds in which same functional group substitute the hydrogen in a carbon chain for example here alcohols contains oh group successive member differs by ch2 group and the formula ch4 have mass 14 that is carbon atomic weight is 12 
and hydrogen 2 therefore total 14 unit mass the chemical properties are imparted in the functional group all members have similar chemical properties but members have different physical property then physical properties vary among the members of homologous series due to difference in their molecular mass the melting point and the boiling point increases with molecular mass so that is about the homologous series we can have different homologous series like alkane homologous series methane ethane propane butane pentane that is the homologous series of alkane like this there are different examples of homologous series then how nomenclature that is the names are given on the basis of functional group in organic compounds so functional group is used as a suffix or the prefix while giving the names of organic compound for example in alkene this ene used as a suffix in alkyne yne is used as a suffix in the nomenclature of alkyne in alcohol ol is used as a suffix in the nomenclature aldehyde have al as a suffix in the nomenclature ketone have one as a suffix in the nomenclature of ketone carboxylic acids have oic acid as a suffix chlorine have prefix chloro bromine have bromo like this then if suffix is added then the final e is removed from the name for example from methane this methanol name is obtained by removing this e by ol so name obtained is methanol then chemical properties of carbon compounds first property is combustion this is a methane having molecular formula ch4 combustion means reaction with oxygen it gives carbon dioxide and h2o for balancing this equation there are two h2o molecules given out and two o2 take part in the reaction heat and the light is given out during this reaction this is called as a combustion reaction second is oxidation so this is ch3 ch2 oh is two carbon containing alcohol name of this alcohol is given from eth so it is ethanol in the presence of alkaline kmno4 and heat or acidified K2Cr2O7 and heat, it gives the nascent oxygen which oxidizes ethanol to ethanoic acid that is acetic acid having formula CH3COOH. Then some important compounds of carbon first is ethanol. So ethanol having formula structural formula ch3 ch2 oh commonly called as ethyl alcohol properties are it is a colorless inflammable liquid it is a miscible in water means soluble in water in all proportions then it has a no effect on the litmus paper that is blue litmus do not turns red or red do not turns blue so no effect on litmus paper now chemical properties first is reaction with sodium metal this is formula of ethanol structural formula ch3 ch2 oh when react with sodium metal it give sodium ethoxide having formula ch3 ch2 ona along with this h2 is given out as a side product now reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid this reaction commonly called as a dehydration reaction ch3 ch2oh is ethanol ethanol 
when treated with hot and concentrated sulfuric acid it loses one water molecule that is oh from this carbon and h from this carbon give h2o as a side product and the main product is ch2 double bond ch2 is ethene and alkene then uses of this ethanol it is used as a solvent then used as a antiseptic in tincture iodine and antifreeze in automobiles so this is the first compound of carbon second compound of carbon is ethanoic acid commonly also called as acetic acid having formula ch3 cooh it is present as a 5 to 8 percent ethanoic acid in water it is commonly called as a vinegar it is used as a food preservative remember this percentage always asked in examination what is the percentage of acetic acid in vinegar it is 5 to 8 percent then the melting point of pure ethanoic acid is 290 kelvin hence it often freezes in cold climate and named as a glacial acetic acid then chemical properties under this chemical properties of acetic acid or ethanoic acid next reaction is esterification so esterification means reaction of this carboxylic acid with alcohol that is ethanol give ester acid react with alcohol give ester this reaction is called as esterification this reaction take place in the presence of concentrated h2so4 reaction is ch3cooh plus ch3ch2oh give ch3 cooch5 plus h2o this is very good example of esterification reaction second chemical property of acetic acid or ethanoic acid is reaction with carbonate and hydrogen carbonate this is ch3cooh ethanoic acid react with sodium carbonate na2co3 give sodium ethanoate having formula ch3coona plus h2o plus co2 and ethanoic acid react with sodium bicarbonate again give sodium ethanoate plus h2o plus co2 then uses of this ethanoic acid it is used in vinegar just now we had studied that vinegar contains 5 to 8 percent ethanoic acid that is acetic acid in water it is used as a raw material for the preparation of acetyl chloride and ester the same property is used in the saponification therefore we will study here what are soaps so chemically soaps are sodium or potassium salts of long chain fatty acids these are called as a soaps what are soaps these are sodium or potassium salts of long chain fatty acids general formula for soap is rcoona here rco is negative part and na plus is a positive part then detergent so what are detergents chemically detergents are ammonium and sulfate salts of long chain fatty acids these are called as a detergent so this is a long chain of fatty acid bonded with so3 that is a sulfonate group and here sodium or ammonium group can be bonded so that is the detergent then hard water and soft water water does not produce leather with soap really readily that is called as a hard water it contains the calcium and magnesium ions and their salts and the water which produce leather means foam 
with soak easily it is called as a soft water the hardness of water is due to presence of bicarbonates chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium so that is about the hard and soft water now we will study the difference between soaps and detergents so soaps are we had studied definition same thing given here sodium or potassium salts of long chain fatty acids and detergents are ammonium or sodium sul sulfonate salts of long chain fatty acids ionic part in the soap is dash coo minus and na plus that is rcoo minus and na plus ionic part in detergent is dash so3 cream so3 minus and na plus next point of difference between soap and detergent is the efficiency their efficiency decreases in hard water and here efficiency is unaffected in hard water soaps are biodegradable and detergents are non biodegradable so that is the points of difference between soaps and detergents now advantages of detergents mainly main advantage of detergent over the soap is soaps cannot be used in hard water because hard water reacts with soap and form a curdy white precipitate and that is called as a scum chemically the reaction is c17 h35 coona these two molecules of sodium stearate it is soap example of soap it react with calcium chloride it is present in hard water and form calcium stearate and nacl as a side product hard water soap does not give leather that is the foam while detergent gives the leather or the foam then we will study cleansing action of soap and detergent both soap and detergents contain two parts a long chain hydrocarbon part is a, it is a hydrophobic means water repelling and a short short ionic part which is hydrophilic that is water attracting hydrocarbon part of the soap molecule links itself to the oily part that is a dirt part drop and the ionic end orients itself towards water and forms a spherical structure called as a micelle that structure we will study in the next slide that is this is called as a micelle formation so how it is formed again we will study the hydrocarbon part of the soap molecule links with oily part and the ionic end orient itself towards the water and forms a spherical structure that is called as a micelle the soap micelle helps in the dissolving dirt in water and wash our clothes then cleansing action of soap the dirt is generally held to the surface of dirty cloth by a thin film of oil or grease when dirt of the cloth is treated with soap or detergent then the non polar part that is a tail of the soap or detergent dissolves in oily part or the greasy part while the polar head are surrounded by the water surrounding the water soap or detergent micelle is formed with oily or the greasy dirt part lying at the center the soap or detergent are attracted both by greasy dirt and water so this type of micelle is formed it consists of at the center that is oily part that is a dirt it is surrounded by this is a non polar part of soap or detergent and this is a polar part of soap or detergent when surface of the cloth mechanically scrubbed or beaten on the stone with wooden paddle then 
or agitated in washing machine the loosened oily particle is removed from the dirt of the dirty surface and cloth is clean the detergent lower the surface tension of water greater extent than the soap therefore in the cleansing action the detergents are much higher than those of soap so detergents are better than soaps for cleaning and that is about this chapter carbon and its compound thank you